Mark Ridley Thomas was sworn in as Los Angeles County Supervisor in front of an overflow crowd of nearly 1,000 supporters. With a lofty agenda that included the reopening of Martin Luther King Jr. Hospital, the newly sworn in supervisor centered his oath of office speech around his trademark empowerment ideals. We are the keys to change. We are the keys to change. We are the keys to change. The supervisor expounded upon that message two months later to the 1,200 attendees at the Empowerment Congress's 2009 annual summit. I've said repeatedly my objective in helping to facilitate the Empowerment Congress is essentially to demystify government. Uh, to make it more clear, more available, more accessible, indeed more accountable to the people that it should represent. But accountability, get this now, is not simply a one-way street. It is mutual. That means that if you want me as your elected official, your supervisor to step up, then you've got to be right there with me to make what needs to happen happen in the second supervisorial district. It doesn't work otherwise. And step up, the community did beginning with the 500-strong standing room only crowd at the Martin Luther King Jr. Hospital Town Hall meeting. To the Board of Supervisors, I don't want to see an empty seat in that board. They then, the entirety of the board, the county as a whole, need to know that we are serious. We are intent on delivering uh, for the communities that surround this hospital and implementing this vision. It is essentially an expression of our commitment and the principle of empowerment in practice. Do you hear me? Yes. That's what needs to happen. So you gotta show up. Just two weeks later, with the fate of the hospital on the line, the second district showed up big time the likes of which the Board of Supervisors had not seen in decades. My name is Yolanda Hansen, and I'm from St. Francis Community Church, and I'm here in support of reopening the Martin Luther King Hospital. I'm hoping that I can do my little part today with other people from the community to open that center. It's very important because in that area we don't have no emergency rooms, no medical facilities. We really, really need this hospital. After testimony from a diverse group of community leaders, the decision to open a new Martin Luther King Jr. Medical Center rested with the Board of Supervisors. We are ready to move. We have a motion by Supervisor Ridley Thomas and Chair Second. Do I hear any objections? If not, so are. <laughs> The final step ensuring that the hospital would reopen required a vote from the California Board of Regents. And once again, the second district showed up in force as seen in this ABC News clip. The motion carries unanimously. And that is how empowerment works. The community engages, educates itself, steps up, shows up, and doesn't give up until it gets results. Martin Luther King Jr. Hospital was shut down in 2007 and many said it would never reopen its doors. But that was before standing room only crowds began showing up to board meetings. To quote the supervisor, the people are the keys to change. Is the second district in the house?